Hi guys, uh, in this video we will take up one more problem on convolution sum uh, of an infinite length sequence. Uh, this time let inputs to the system is x of n is equal to alpha power n e of n and alpha is in between 0 and 1 and impulse response of the system h of n is equal to e of n minus 2. Find, find convolution sum, convolution sum or find output of a LTA system ok LTA system solution step 1 what is step 1? we have to sketch x of n and h of minus n right uh, but what is alpha to the power n u of n and what do you mean by alpha is in between 0 and 1 uh, say if alpha is 0 0.5 I have assumed that alpha is 0 0.5 why because they have given the condition that alpha takes the value in between 0 and 1 I have taken 0 0.5 if I try to sketch this sequence this is n at n equal to 0 uh, alpha power 0 is alpha is what 0 0.5 0 0.5 power 0 is 1 right it is 1 when n equal to 1 what is 0 0.5 power 1? It is 0 0.5. When n equal to 2, what is 0 0.5 square? So it is 0 0.25. And it goes on. So it is uh, it is basically a it is basically a exponentially decreasing signal. Okay. It goes till infinity. Right? So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And why don't we have samples at n equal to minus 1 and n equal to minus 2 and n equal to minus 3 and so on? We don't have samples here because there is a term called as unit step function, and unit step function is defined only from n varying from 0 to infinity. So, therefore, there is no samples in the negative side of n. Fine. So, this is our x of n, which is equal to alpha power n u of n. I did not specify the sample value here because alpha they did not give but generally alpha if it is in between 0 and 1 it is exponentially decreasing sequence fine so x of n is exponentially decreasing so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and dot 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 what about h of minus n? Uh, what is h of n? h of n is actually this value, right? u of n minus 2, right? Which is nothing but u of n shifted right 2 time. It is like this. And its amplitude is 1. What do I need is h of minus n. If uh, h of n is this, what is h of minus n? It is nothing but so mirror image of this sequence. So this sequence starts from minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and it goes on till inf uh, minus infinity, right? and it, its amplitude is 1 so this is h of minus n, right? so this is 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and it goes on so it starts from minus 2 and its amplitude is 1 this is n and this is n ok so first step was to sketch x of n and h of minus n. So we did next, and then I need to replace the independent variable from n to k. I will do it in the same sequence. I am not going to plot again. So now it is x of k and h of minus k. This we did because of the uh, uh, equation, which is summation x of k and h of n minus k. Right. Now what is the next step? Next step, step two, is to bring the two sequence in the same. axis k okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 1 so x of k 
does not change. So it's a exponentially decreasing signal. This is x of k. It started from 0 and ends at infinity. And h of minus k, it is starting from minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and it goes on till minus infinity. So this is h of h of minus k. Now I need to assign uh, a controlling sequence. Uh, the slider is here now. Right? And what is the controlling uh, index now? This is minus 2, so it is nothing but n minus 2. If this is in minus 3, then my controlling index will be n minus 3. If this is in plus 2, uh, my controlling index will be at n plus 2. Okay? Now, what is the next step? Step 3. Step 3 is to move h of minus k from minus infinity to plus infinity. This slider has to be moved from minus infinity to infinity. Right? And then I need to decide what and all the overlap region and what and all the non overlapping region. Now, uh, this n minus 2 slider starting from minus infinity till minus 1, these two sequences does not overlap, right? But these two sequences starts to overlap when this n minus 2 sliders start uh, is at n equal to 0. At n equal to 0, this starts to overlap and 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, dot, dot overlap continues till n minus 2 goes to infinity, right? Uh, non overlapping region is still is still till this slider is at minus 2 okay this is actually non overlapping region this is non overlap region so, so n minus 2 is less than n minus 2 is less than 0 right less than sorry this is minus 1 so n minus 2 n minus 2 is less than till n minus 2 is less than 0 or n is less than 2 so y of n is equal to x of k and h of k no overlap so it is equal to 0 fine now overlap region So this is x of k and what I'll do I'll bring this n minus 2 somewhere to 4. So bring somewhere to here 4. Okay. Which is n minus 2 and if this is 4. So the overlap portion start from 0 and ends at depending upon where I keep this n minus 2. Okay, therefore n minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 or n is greater than or equal to 2. What is y of n? y of n is summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k so y of n is equal to summation k start from overlap start from 0 and then set n minus 2 okay, overlap start from 0 to n minus 2 x of k if x of n is alpha power n u of n what is x of k x of k is nothing but alpha power k u of k right so it is nothing but alpha power k and h of n minus k right and if h of n is u of n minus 2 what is h of n minus k anyhow it does not matter because this is the amplitude this is the impulse from impulse uh, impulse response but what its amplitude is unit step function anyhow it is 1 okay so what did we end up with so y of n is equal to summation k varying from 0 to n minus 2 alpha power k. Right? 0 to n minus 2 alpha power k. So there is a standard result which we need to know. Summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n is 1 minus alpha to the power capital N divided by 1 minus alpha. Okay? So I have to use this standard result here. So this here I have n minus 2. So I need to bring it in the form of n minus 1. So I can write it as summation k varying from 0 to n minus 1 minus 1, which is nothing but n minus 2 alpha power k. Okay, now this is in the standard form in the sense summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n. 
here alpha is, uh, n is nothing but k independent variable is k here this is nothing but what 1 minus 1 minus alpha alpha power n so this n comes here right similarly this this n is nothing but n minus 1 hold your way 1 minus alpha ok so therefore if I combine the output y of n is what it is 0 so y of n is 0 for n less than 2 for n less than 2 and it is equal to 1 minus alpha to power capital uh, 1 minus alpha power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha and this condition is for n greater than or equal to 2 so n greater than or equal to 2 so this is the output of the system